Today, let's work on a motion chart. Let's first start by creating a new tab. And you see we're, we're using one of the student's files here. And we're going to grab the, actually, let's double click on the measure name. Let's double click on gross revenue that pops it in automatically. And then let's bring month over to the columns. And let's change it to be a continuous variable for either day or month. I think we can do it in a month in that regard. And then what we need to do, so that was pretty straightforward, right? We have the sum of the revenue. It's just double click to get it there. We change this to be a continuous variable by month. And then we bring the month into the filters, not filters, the pages. We set it to the same constraint as the other one, make sure it's a month view. And what we did was the motion charts are pretty straightforward. All you really need to do is use the page output to create them. Um, but then if you look at it, you, you see you have the play motion here and you can you start already playing with it. It's just bouncing along. But then you change your marks to say square, right? In that regard, show history. And then it gives you a couple options here. I can see trail marks or both. Uh, and I'm gonna dip back. When you look at the trails, let's set the trail to be a color of sort, something easy to identify. Maybe we'll get a, I don't know, fun colors in that regard. And we can do that. Can you see all marks? Hey, there we go, all marks. Now we can hit play and we can see the trail just forming. And that is the short, it's how you create a motion chart. And it was actually quite effective. And you can do this on various things. The key thing being the months, making sure that your continuous variables are shown and not as discrete variables and they both match in that regard. I put the trail, you saw how I did that. I did that by showing the marks, aligning the marks on it and going from there. I hope that was useful and um, should help everyone create a motion chart.